All right, I am coming into Ithaca, New York, and I'm making this video for some folks back in Austin who want to know what it looks like in Ithaca, New York. And anyone else who wants to know what it looks like in Ithaca, New York, can uh, check this out with me. Now, Ithaca, this is where uh, Cornell University is. And by the way, it is Monday, May 20th, 2019, and springtime seems to be farther along than it was where I just was. So this is the approach coming in from the west. <clears throat> Give you an idea of what the houses look like here and uh, Ithaca is in the Finger Lakes region of I would call this central upstate New York maybe people who live here would disagree with that but you see we've already passed two buses so they obviously have some sort of public transportation in Ithaca New York uh, and this is probably the town uh, that I would be moving to in New York. Ithaca, besides having Cornell, Ithaca is the closest town that I have found with kind of the energy of South Austin. Uh, Ithaca feels a little bit like Austin, Texas did 20 years ago. So I'm sure it's in the process of being ruined uh, I do re recall, ironically, as much as I laugh about the state bird of Texas, which is the Austin crane, that last year, the only new construction crane I saw pretty much in the state of New York was here in Ithaca. Not even sure which waterway we are crossing. So, we are going... We are coming in from the west. All right. And into what they call the commons. The commons of Ithaca. All right. And trying to figure out the traffic pattern of Ithaca. I recall all sorts of uh, different restaurants in Ithaca. Uh, one of the, about the only town I found in New York last year with, uh, you know, a Thai restaurant next to an Indian restaurant next to a Mexican restaurant. So it also has a little bit of the feel, especially on this cloudy, gloomy day. For some reason, I'm getting a hit off of like uh, Arcata, California in uh, the north coast of California. I wasn't getting that hit last year when it was up in the mid-90s. I do see another crane. Maybe it's the same crane, I don't know, from a year ago. So there's actually new construction in Ithaca. It is 4.15 in the afternoon. It is 72 degrees on uh, in late May. 72 degrees. The high tomorrow in Ithaca is going to be 57 degrees. It was about 85 on Sunday, 72 on Monday, 57 on Tuesday. Okay, so we are coming down into the, uh, we're just going to drive around downtown Ithaca and look around downtown Ithaca. Uh, there's the liquor store. Kind of need to go there. I'm going to get off the, get off the highway and we're just going to take a look around Ithaca, New York. All right. Uh, what do we got? We've got a ramen noodle house next to the Tree of Life, the pizzeria, the coffee house. We got people sipping their coffee at their uh, in their little sidewalk cafe. 
Alright, we have a diner coming up. Uh, I don't know what the population of Ithaca, New York is. I'm going to guess somewhere between 100 and 200,000 when you add in Cornell. Uh, and I was pretty much out in the country like four miles from downtown. I mean, it felt like I was still well out in the country. I saw absolutely no suburban sprawl. And that's true of so much of upstate New York, the lack of suburban sprawl. All right, we have the State Diner Finest Foods. All right, we have the $3.99 breakfast. Okay, we have hippies walking their dogs. I do like to, to see hippies walking their dogs. There is the rock food and drink. So I guess, you know, obviously a lot of this is uh, people are seeing here. Uh, you know, this is, is the home of Cornell University. People have done some nice jobs on fixing up these whole, these old houses. Salvation Army. Alright, we have thrift stores. Okay, we're going to go up this street and down the other. And, uh... Huh, very curious. So I'm going to be in Cortland's about, I think Cortland's about 20 miles from here. Cortland's about, sort of a suburb of Ithaca. It's its own town as well. And, but you know, Cortland is fine. If you live in Cortland, where I assume the housing is cheaper. Uh, now, just going, playing around Zillow, I don't find anything in this town for under 100000 all right, we have a hippie chick walking her dog. Okay, I like this little district. There we go. We, we got the brick streets and the little art house. Okay. Woodstock the movie is playing at the art movie house. All right, I guess I can only take a right. Oh, this is the pedestrian mall. So this is cool that they've actually closed down uh, the street and it's pedestrians only. So we're driving around the pedestrian mall and I am uh, smelling all sorts of tasty smelling aromas here emanating from the pedestrian mall. Don't know how to get back. Here's an urban out at urban outfitters. Easy for me to say. Good lord, they really do take you around the uh, pedestrian mall. I'm not complaining though. The pedestrian mall seems to be several several blocks. So we're going to go down the other side. I think this is the way that I want to head out. So uh, I should get out of the truck and take a stroll down the downtown commons. All right. But, uh, I swear that is the same crane that was up here last year. I, I can swear that's the same damn crane. Uh, now these people have on their left turn, it's a one-way street, do not enter, and both of the cars in front of me have their left turn signals on. I'm a little unclear, but they're the ones with the New York tags. All right, we have fresh, healthy Mex Ithacan food. This is the the Marriott Hotel out of here.